In this lecture, we'll be building our project via Jenkins. We'll be creating a job in Jenkins and we'll basically be using this particular job to build our project. We'll also be integrating Jenkins with GitHub. So essentially what will happen is every time we build the job in Jenkins, it will go and basically fetch the latest code from GitHub and it will uh, download onto the local machine. And from here on, it will execute the project. And finally, at the end of a project, we'll be getting the result and we'll be able to view this result in Jenkins itself. So let's start implementing this. So first thing is I need to start Jenkins. So right now the Jenkins war file is present on my desktop. So what I'll do is I'll navigate to the desktop. And here I'm going to now start Jenkins. So the command is java minus jar. And you will provide the name of the war file, which is nothing but Jenkins dot war. Now press enter. So by default, the Jenkins application will start on port 8080. Let me just bring up a browser and open up Jenkins. Type in localhost port 8080. It's basically starting up. Let's wait for some more time. So Jenkins is basically started. Now we need to log in. So the username by default is admin, and the password is something that I have copied. Let me just copy it and paste it here. So if you have not created a user, then you are you need to basically use the default username and password. So from the in the installation videos, I've uh, basically shown how to get the password. You can uh, revisit that. If not, if, if if not, I can just show it here one more time. So when you Install Jenkins, you can actually get a initial password in this particular location that is in your home directory. You have to go to the Jenkins folder and in Jenkins you have a folder called as secrets. And if you open up this particular file that is initial password, this will actually contain the password. So you need to use this password to log into Jenkins. Or if you have noted this on already, then you can just copy paste it here. So now we are logged into Jenkins. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to install a plugin. So this plugin will basically be useful for us in order to view the HTML reports that are generated in the project. So when we build the Serenity project, we will get an index.html. So in order to view this particular report, we need the HTML Publisher plugin. So install it. Just click on Manage Jenkins. And here you have Manage Plugins. Just click this. And you can click on the Available tab. And here you can search for HTML. Publisher. So this is not showing up here because I've already installed it. But if you type in, you should see something like this. Let me just type it in. So this is the plugin. Okay. So make sure uh, you install this particular plugin. So when you install this plugin, after installing, you basically need to restart uh, Jenkins in order to in order for this plugin to be available. So for example, I'm just going to install some other plugin just to show this process. So let me just probably going to install this particular. I'm just going to install this plugin. It's fine. So 
there are two options you can say install without restart and you can also download it and install after restart so i'm going to choose this option and you can just check box select this check box so once the download is finished jenkins will automatically restart Jenkins has finished restarting and also the plugin will be installed. Now next thing is we basically need to create a job in order to execute our project. So I'm going to click on create new jobs. And here I will enter a name. So I'll say student app. So I'll just keep this as the project name. And out of these options, you can just select the freestyle project. Click on OK. So this is the, the job is created. Now within the job, we have the configure page open. That is the job configuration is open. So we need to now configure this particular job. The first thing that I'm going to provide is, I'll basically select the source code management. So we are going to be integrating Jenkins with Git. So I'll select Git. And here we need to provide the repository URL. So let me open up GitHub. And I'll provide the repository URL. And also we need to provide the credentials. The credentials is nothing but the GitHub credentials. So here we can provide the credentials. So that is GitHub email, that is username and the password. Say add. And from here, we'll select the GitHub credentials. And also the branches to build. That is, you have a branch specifier here, which is specified as the master branch. So if you look at GitHub, we also don't have any other branches, that we just have only the master branch. So our code is basically in the master branch. So I'll just leave this as it is because we will be building the master branch, the code from the master branch. So with this, I think the configuration, the Git side is completed. Next, we need to basically build the project. So to build the project, scroll down to this build section here. And I'll click on this drop down that is add a build step. So here we have different options. You can either execute Windows batch command, execute shell and so on. Since our student app project is a Maven project, I'll be selecting this option. So I want to basically build my Maven project. So I'll say invoke top level Maven targets. And here you have the region to specify your goal. So the way we build our project is through this particular goal. That is, we just copy this. So we have the clean verify and then serenity aggregate. So this is our goal. This will be our Maven goal. And also, I'll need to provide the pom.xml file. I'm just going to mention pom.xml here. And the rest, I'll just leave it as it is. And also, after the build is completed, you basically need to publish the HTML reports. So I'm going to add this. So after at the post build actions, I'm going to select publish HTML reports and say add and here we need to provide the directory I'll just leave it blank for now and this is the file and this is the title so I'll name this as student app 
uh, I click on apply and say save. So the job configuration is completed. Now let me build this job. So when I build the job, what will happen is the, the files that are present here, that is a project that is present in this remote repository, this will be downloaded onto a temporary folder in Jenkins. And from there on, the project will be executed. So if I click on build now, the build will start. Just going to open up the Console logs. There is a log file. Log. So here you can see that it's connecting to Git, and it also was able to download the file. But while executing the goal, it is now throwing an error. So let's see what the error is. So it's basically complaining that it could not find the pom dot xml in this particular location. So let us see what this is, what the error is. I'm just going to copy this path. And let me open up another terminal. And I will navigate to, navigate to this path. That is users, username, dot Jenkins. In the Jenkins, you have workspace. I'll just navigate to the Jenkins workspace first. If I type in ls, so here you can see that these are all the different jobs that were created in the Jenkins server. So these were all uh, these are all the previous jobs that I had created. But uh, this particular job, that is the student tab job, is the one that we just created now. So let me just navigate this navigate into this job. That is cd student tab. If I do an ls, so here you can see that this is our project. Okay. So this is the student app project and this was the text file that we were basically we pushed from our local repository to the remote repo. This is the text file and this is the student app. So what's happening here is the job is trying to find the pom.xml in this particular location. That is under the workspace you have the job name and under the job name it's trying to find the pom.xml but we don't have the pom here. The pom is present inside the student app. So if I do ls student app. So here you can see that this is where the POM is present. So basically what we need to do is we need to provide this folder name in the Jenkins job. So I'll go back and I'll open up the project configuration. And here what I need to do is under the Maven targets, yes, right here. So here we need to provide the project name and under the project name we have the pom.xml. I'm going to click on apply, say save. And I think I have forgotten to do one thing, that is I have not yet started the students app. So let me do that quickly. So even the student app by default will start on port 8080. So we don't want, uh, we can't have two things running on the same port. So I'm going to change the port number. And now the student app should start on 8085. So in my project also, I have mentioned the port number as 8085. That is if I just open up this project on GitHub. So this port is also 8085. So now what I'm going to do is, now I'll build the job. So this time the test should run. 
we're building the job also back here if you look at this particular change that is the github change the change is also listed in the build it's telling us what the change is if i click on detail it will also tell me the provide the commit number and the comment that i added along with the file so you can also do a diff So now the job is actually executing. So here you can see that the build is started. Now the tests are running. They're executing. So in the build, under the build number, in the console output, all the Jenkins logs. All the logs will be uh, displayed here, that is the serenity logs. So whatever logs we see here on Eclipse, the same logs we will be able to see in the console. So my machine is very slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so you can see that the tests are passing here. So I'm just going to pause this video here and I'll let the build complete. So the build is completed and uh, here you can see that there are a lot of failures in the build because uh, we have some tests failing so the build has basically failed if i go back to the project for the jenkins job and now if i try to open up the html report so it will basically give me this error because it's not able to access the index.html so again i'm going to bring up the terminal here Not the Jenkins terminal. So basically, the issue is it's not able to find the index.html. So we have not provided the path properly. That's why the error is coming. So let me just open up a new Jenkins window. So I'll just navigate to the Jenkins folder that is users username dot Jenkins. In that we need to go to the workspace. And we have the student app job. This is the Jenkins job. And under the Jenkins job, we'll have a student app project. So navigate here. And the index.html will be under this particular path. That is source. Under source, you have it will be under the target. Under target, you have site. And under site you have the serenity folder so here if you see this is where the index.html is if i say pwd this will give me the working directory so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this particular path and let me go back to the job configuration and i'll now go back to the post build actions so this is the directory path. So this is the directory path where we'll actually find the index.html file. Let me apply and save it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the student app. I'm going to kill this particular student app application and just restart it again. And I'll build the job again. And this time we should be able to see the HTML report.